Roman army proved for centuries to be very effective, especially due to its cohesion and organization. But what happened to the Roman soldiers that didn't obey the rules, misbehaved or committed a crime in the Roman army? Let's discover the most typical punishments, from the least serious to the worst possible. The most typical punishment and the least severe by far were fines. A Roman soldier was fined whenever he showed a lack of will in his training, when he showed disobedience to his superiors, whenever he misbehaved or proved the lack of discipline. The fine was almost never applied on the savings of the soldier, but always on the next monthly salaries. This could lead to a reduction in pay or no pay. The second most typical punishment for a Roman soldier was the Munerum Indictio. The Munerum Indictio consists in giving additional duties to the soldier that do not belong to his army ranks, and generally the worst possible duties you could imagine, like cleaning stinky latrines to humiliate him, lifting heavy objects, or even dangerous operations like scouting the enemy alone during the night, or going on a reconnaissance mission. Another punishment that was carried with the intention of humiliating the Roman soldier was the Militia Mutatio, like a temporary demotion. The Roman soldier was simply moved to another branch. If he was a veteran to humiliate him, the army could send him for weeks or months with new recruits. In case of very serious offenses, this could lead to a gratuitous directio, or demotion. If a Roman soldier victim of punishment was a centurion, for example, the army could demote him to legendary. This would inevitably cause a slowdown in the career of the soldier. Let's now take another step into the punishments that were carried out against serious offenses, crimes and felonies which also involved body punishments. The most popular by far was whipping. The legionary was tied to a tree trunk, without clothes, in front of soldiers he knew, in order to humiliate him, and whipped a set number of times, generally not with the intent to disable or kill him. If a soldier behaved badly enough, he could be dishonorably discharged with very severe consequences, so material consequences of being dishonorably discharged were the cancellation of the retirement of the soldier. The soldier couldn't participate in the division of the spoils or own land. In the worst case scenario, the soldier's name was removed from the registry office. By losing the name from the registry, he was officially being left out of history and he was condemned to be forgotten. Being cancelled from history and being forgotten was like never existing in the Roman mentality. This obviously led to people not trusting the soldier anymore, and the soldier also loses the right to vote. If the Roman soldier showed heavy insubordination, cowardice in battle, is a spy of the enemy, or the soldier escaped the battlefield, he may be charged with the death penalty. In this case, the soldiers that suffered the most because of the escape of this soldier, or because of his cowardice, were given thick sticks and had to clap to death the victim in front of the public. If a Roman soldier was caught being a spy of the enemy, exchanging vital information with the enemy or helping the enemy, he was punished with the death penalty for treasonry. In this case, he was put inside of a bag with snakes and stones, and thrown into the river or the sea. The snakes were added for religious purposes, as a symbol to cancel the memory of the soldier from history, the stones to be sure he couldn't float. The worst punishment by far was the decimation. Decimation was applied whenever there was a case of massive insubordination in the army ranks. In this case, the whole group that showed cowardice was divided into groups of 10 soldiers each. Each group was given 10 stones, one stone each soldier randomly and the soldier that had the different stone received the death penalty. The death penalty was carried out by the 9 soldiers who picked the same stone and they had to clap the 10th soldier, the soldier with the different stone, to death, and generally all these soldiers were friends. The 9 soldiers that survived were then given meals made with barley instead of wheat, which kept soldiers weak and hungry. During the night the 9 soldiers had to sleep outside of the camp, without light nor protection from animals or enemies. The decimation was very rare, but often used during the civil wars by generals. Did you enjoy this video? If yes, click on the right or on the left to see one more. Thank you for watching.